Hello friends, I'm Renata Bowers. I am the author of the Frida B series of picture books and I am here at the Story Barn, home of Frida B. And I and Paula LaJoy, my business partner and our families, welcome you to the Story Barn this week for week 10 of Wonder and Wander. This week is called Paint Fall. So some of you have not been here before, so really quickly just to let you know, you are fully registered. This video is intended to just kind of give you an idea of some of the things you can do while you're here. And um, so very simply when you arrive, you're gonna park and walk to the front do doors of the barn. The barn is right there. You walk right up to the front doors, we will check you in and upon arrival, you will receive a basket for your three hours on the property. Now this basket ultimately gets returned to us, but in this basket are all kinds of things you get to use with the ones you love to explore nature and create some fun process art. Um, there are some staples in here that don't have so much to do with creating art as it is with adventuring and exploring. So just so you know, there are spray bottles with water because kids love to spray things and there's really nothing that they can harm. Um, so that's great fun. There are magnifying glasses, there's sidewalk chalk, and there are bubbles. So those things, kids can go off and adventure and explore and have fun and there's really nothing they can harm. Um, so that's just a fun adventure kind of element in baskets. Beyond that, you're going to find everything you need to create the suggested projects we have this week. That, let me explain to you what the suggested projects are. So first of all, we have what we're calling um, our hand trees. So essentially, your child is going to outline his or her hand on a piece of brown construction paper and cut it out, paste it onto the paper that we provide, and then there are a number of different ways that you can turn that handprint into a fall tree. Um, one is using acorn caps. So there are acorns all over the property. You take the cap, we're giving you some paint, and you dip the cap into the paint and you create leaves all over the tree that way. Another is to use tissue paper, which we also will be providing to you. So a little bit of that and some glue wadded up makes for um, kind of a three-dimensional leaf tree. So we're gonna give you supplies for both, both approaches so that you can try them both out. The other project that we're doing is called Leaf People. Um, and it's really quite simple, but they're absolutely adorable. So you make them out of um, paper tubes and the ones that we've made here we actually um, glued and wrapped in tissue paper and then you go find some leaves and attach them to it with glue and then um, you can do googly eyes and we give you the pipe cleaner for arms and then you can decorate however you want. So, um, and uh, this, if you're interested in the mouth, that's just tissue paper kind of twisted up and then we painted. So that's that. And last but not least, if you haven't been here before, you are going to receive, each child is gonna receive a Story Barn notebook. And these we offer just fun and simple suggestions for creating things that you can take home. If you've been here before, make sure your child brings his or hers back. And this week what we're suggesting with the paint is that you can make acorns and turkeys using the child's, your child's fingerprint. So again, that's just dipping in the paint and creating some whimsical fall um, pictures of turkeys and acorns and then crayons or colored pencils to embellish and a couple little googly eyes um, to take home with you. So that is what we have on tap for you this week. Um, other than that, just know that our retail store is open, so free to be books always are available for purchase. I'm happy to sign when I'm here. And if there's anything else you need to know, it should be addressed in the email text. But if there's anything else, just email us or call us and we'll get right back to you. Look forward to seeing you this week at the Story Barn.